Hello Summoners! Matthew from the Nintendo Treehouse here with some quick tips for the Fire Emblem Heroes game. The characters you voted for in the Choose Your Legends 2020 event are here! This time, let's take a look at the characters from the Leicester Alliance that got voted in, Claude and Lysithia. Claude may have fought as the leader of the Alliance, but after the war, he went back to Almira to become its king. He is wearing the outfit given to the Almiran Wyvern Riders and wields the Parthia that exists in Fodland. Although Claude still works well as a hit-and-run unit, he has traded his high-movement horse for a Wyvern, become a more effective attack unit on the player phase, and does a better job of assisting his allies than his younger self. Claude's entire set focuses on giving himself boosts and inflicting penalties on foes. If attacking on the player phase, or within two spaces of an ally on the enemy phase, he can get a plus 9 to his already incredible speed using the effects of Fury 4 and Wind Parthia. Since Chill Speed Defense and Attack Speed Rain also inflict penalties on his foe's speed, Claude will rarely get doubled. His weapon also restores 50% of his max HP when Moonbow triggers, so as long as his foe can't one-shot Claude, he can do a good job of keeping himself alive. His base defense and resistance aren't too high though, so be sure to keep him safe on the enemy phase. It's best to use Claude to move in for an attack to defeat one foe, and if any other foes are still near him, take them out with his allies while they have the advantage of attack speed rain's effects. Timing and positioning are important to the strategies of people like Claude. Master both, and Claude won't disappoint. Last up is Lysithia. Her hard work at the monastery has paid off with a newfound mastery over magic. She also has found an outfit that makes her look more mature, but it seems that she still has a hard time resisting a good cake. Although this version of Lysithia is still a bit of a glass cannon, her versatility on the battlefield has grown along with her as she matured. Although her younger self had to attack on the player phase to unlock her full potential, Lysithia can access all the bonuses to her stats when her and her foe's HP are at the right levels. Dark Spike's Tau is effective against cavalry foes, and if her foe's HP is 75% or over, she can get boost to attack and speed. And if her HP is under 100% when initiating combat, she can follow up before her foe can counter. In fact, if you combine those effects with the potential boosts and penalties that her push and mole skills result in, she can get the equivalent of plus 16 to attack and speed during combat. Since attack speed push will most likely reduce her HP slightly after the first battle of the map, she will be able to get a quick follow-up for the second battle. This makes her a great choice to clear out two foes in the opening phase of combat with the help of a dancer when you want to clear a map quickly. You may also want to add a healer to the team if you want Lysithia to put down a large number of foes on a single map to keep her bonuses intact. Also, although she has the same damage output potential on the enemy phase, her defense and resistance are still low, so be very careful about who can reach her at the end of your turn. Finally, Lysithia can give her allies a nice boost in speed with her C skill that can assist strong physical attackers on her team to take care of any foes that might resist her powerful magic attacks. Lysithia sure is a force to be reckoned with. The former students of the Golden Deer have also turned their experiences into new abilities. However, since this year's Choose Your Legend units don't all come from the same Fogland, I wonder how they will react to each other now in Aspen. Be sure to also check out the Forging Bonds event that features these characters to find out. That's all for today, Summoners. Good... Oh, wait! There's someone else here, too. I thought he just came to buy up some old weapons and play strategy games, but... I guess he's actually going to fight. It's George from the Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn game. He and his twin brother Daniel are a part of a traveling convoy. George buys up used items while Daniel forges weapons. It just so happens that Daniel forged the bow George is using now. The Daniel made bow boosts the attack of allies while penalizing the attack of foes near him during combat. Along with chill defense and attack opening, George has the potential of being a very good support unit for your team. Although he isn't the strongest hero in Asker, he actually has a high defense that works well with his special Ignis to deal big damage when it triggers. George will join your team if you can defeat him in the Grand Hero Battle, so don't miss it. Okay, that really is all for today, Summoners. Good luck!